The first step when planning on going crabbing is to get a license. Now these can be purchased at many local stores. I got mine at Fred Meyer. They also sell it at Big Five Sporting Goods and probably like Sports Authority in those places. I'm not positive. Just call ahead and ask. But here's my license. See? You need this license because if they do pull you, if they do water cops, if the water cops come and they pull you over, they will not be happy if you do not have one and you will get fined and that is not no fun. Second step is to pick bait. Um, sometimes what we do is we go catch bullheads and chop them up and put them in with the, in the trap and then the cat, crabs come and eat them. But since I do not have my fishing license, I will not be able to do that right away, but Jacob has his fishing license, so maybe he'll come out and catch me some bullheads, and then I'll use those. Or you could use um, another, actually a really good one is salmon head, because they love that. Because it's delicious in their minds. Not really sure how the head of salmon would taste, but you know, good for them. And um, Or someone today in line suggested cat food, which since I have a lot due to my owning of two cats, I will probably try that tomorrow. We'll see how that works out. You'll be the first to know. I've been rowing for days and I can't find I just see the shore in the distance. But we're so far out and I've been rowing forever and we ran out of food and I'm gonna die. Just kidding. We're rowing to get our crab pot. You can see? Yeah. We're pretty close. Still, we have a long, long, long ways to go to find the crab pot because I put it way the heck out there. And the first step, so I didn't uh, make the video while I was putting out there, but my camera battery was dead, so I'm just going to have to start now. But pretty much all we did was put gross dead fish in it and then rode it the way the heck out here and dropped it. It's really wavy right now. <laughs> but anyways, right now, the first step in this part is to find the pot because as you can kind of see there's a lot of crab pots I guess you can't really see from this place but there is trust me a lot so you row around looking for yours I have a general idea of where it is but yeah I'll uh, let you know when I find it Pulling it up. Now I'm going to do this sitting because, oh geez, maybe I'll have to stand. But it's super wavy. Okay. Hopefully that's good news. We left it out here for what, like almost two days? Oh well, a full day. Hey, it's half, right? Yeah. But it's super windy, wavy in this boat. And really, oh geez. This boat is really small. Honkers. If you look Whoa! over, you can see them. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Don't look not do that. But anyways, let me pull it out. Oh my god. Ah. Hold on, look, guys. Hold on. Hey, stop. They're all out. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Fine. You'll stay in here. What's up? Woo! 
Look at them! Sucks that! They're giant creatures. Yeah, put it right there. Well, we row back. And this is another hour. For, yeah. But hopefully it'll go faster. It took forever, and I'm really tired. And I have a crab eating at my back. So anyways, hopefully this will go faster. And I will see you in about 20 minutes when it's time to uh, pick which ones are keepers. All right. Peace out. For Nicole. Here we go. Hi. This is our staircase of crabs. I think this one's a keeper. And that one. Oh, he doesn't have a claw though. Poor guy. We can hold the bait. Should we let him back? We can. We can measure him. Well, it depends on how many over here we have. I feel like we should. These are kind of small, I think. Well, let's we'll measure. You are big. Is he big enough? See, they have to be six inches. So we use this little thing. Six inches. He's just big enough. Should we eat him then? I don't know. Well, we have so many to choose from. We'll see if just we keep them, and then like if... if okay. okay. You are big enough. I have a feeling this guy's big enough. Yeah. Okay, so in order to decide if we can keep them, the guys have this V. And I threw back our one female, but the females have more of a, like, a U shape on their underbellies, as you can see. And then you just have to see if they're big enough, which he's, he's pretty big. He's bigger than him, so we'll keep him. That one didn't have a claw, so we don't like them when they don't have the claw, because that has the most meat. This guy... Yep, he's big enough too. Well, I guess technically we can keep ten because we have enough licenses. Well, I don't think I have the guts to kill ten crabs. Five crabs for license, right? Yeah. He's a little small. Oh no, he's like they're all big enough. Can I put him over there? Can you hold him? Hi, Crabby. Alrighty. Look at you, huh? He's a piece. Oh, he's big enough. They're all big. This one is pretty big. So I'm out here cleaning. See? They're cleaning the crab. It's just It's just reflexes. It's a lot. The unfortunate thing about crabs is they have reflexes. Laura's laughing at me. <laughs> the important thing about crabs is they have reflexes after they're dead. So it makes it seem like they're alive and it's really depressing. But I've killed three and I think I'm on a roll. It's, I hate it, but you know, it's okay. See? There's some of them. They're cleaning the other one. And I have one left. Right here. Here you go. Actually, yeah. you change before? It's because these are my pajamas and I oh. really would like them to get. Oh, oh come on, buddy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be like a horror movie.
that's what the inside of a crab looks like. I'll see how that turned out. I probably won't show that whole thing. But yeah, here's the shell. And then you got to rip it in half. And then you clean out its guts and then you cook it. Well, and that is my video for now. Crabbing is a sport, not a luxury.